Well, we're doing a public service to the people of Geelong. You know... You know, because I don't, I don't want to abandon these now, now that we've got them running. I wouldn't mind getting a bus moving between these, just to sort of, just to feel it out. What's probably also worth doing is beefing up the road infrastructure, which might give a better chance of um, building out in this direction. I don't know if this works. It's always been my, I've been playing this game for a very long time starting as a kid. So I've got these certain uh, beliefs or superstitions about how it works and one of my beliefs is the direction that you build out your roads um, kind of promotes growth out that way. Okay well let's stop staring at this ungrateful Mount fucking Gambians. Poor. Oh, so I can build stuff here if I want. Let's get ourselves another workhorse. Let's get ourselves another profitable little chain here. This is nice, so there we go, from our food plantation. Oh my god. There's all lots of things. There's all lots of things. Um, there's the food processing plant, which creates food. Don't know what these lines are all about. Okay, it's a food line. I don't know what this fucking clicks for cargo. Yeah, okay, so that's what food's about. Display subsidies. Hobart to Launceston always seems male. Look at this. G Long to Melbourne want mail. By October 1960. Is it time we break into the big boys? I don't know. I mean, this is usually precisely where you'd start. You'd find a big city and you'd get going there. But uh, maybe this northern suburb of Melbourne. If we want to go crazy, I could even get a train loop going. I kind of do want to go crazy, to be honest. kind of just want to, you know, just want to go for it. Let's go for it. We're going to be audacious. We're going to get a, a nice station going on for our northern supplies, goods, accepts oil. So that could actually be close enough to this oil plant. You pull this oil out of the ground. Ship it past Melbourne. I mean, I guess I could chuck it on a boat, but that's all pretty academic. What else have we got? We've got passengers Hobart to Launceston. Is this our new home? I don't like the look of all this rough terrain. I think that it's best to come back to Tasmania when we've got some more money on our hands and we can do a big project of it. We can get Tasmania. We can bring Tasmania up to speed but we're going to need some funds first. There's another fruit. 90. That's a high output fruit plant. This could be a way to boost our existing line. If I build a train from there down to here, I can probably hijack the existing infrastructure. That seems like a winner, doesn't it? It seems like a chicken dinner, doesn't it? It's still only one station, and I'm going to be having more trains coming off it. But let's see if we can knock this out before the end of the year. We're going to need some money, aren't we? Okay, let's fund this project to that amount, and then let's see what happens. Yeah, we are going to need to fund it to a larger amount. Welcome to Ballarat Forest. The forest among many. Let's get a little hopeful. Let's get a little preparatory. Get ourselves ready for look at that. We'll even chuck that down. We're ready for expansion because we think that this is going to be a very profitable thing to have done with our dollary dues. We're going to need some fruit trucks. Running for a free path. Well, that's fucking problematic off the bat, isn't it? First mail from Marble Bar. Service subsidy offered. First mail service from Marble Bar to Tom Price will attract hilarious headlines. What are you doing, mate? Okay, you're going to do a little loopsies. Okay, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. I think we've got some little successful model down here. Marble Bar, Tom Price, first mail service, you want a mail service, you have 98 population between you, mate you've got more copper ore mines than you do people, and you want a mail service, yeah, 
You look, I can do it for you. Look, I can do it for you. I'm gonna put. Look at that, eighty thousand dollar dues. Can we do it? We can do it. Who can do it? Mount Gambia Industries Corporation can do it. For you, Tom. Just for you. Tommy, my lad. We're running low on money, Tom, but I tell you what. That's what I tell you, Tom Price. Marble bar? Marble. Can't refuse us to marble bar. You're putting spinners. You're throwing spinners in in works, mate. Cactus. It's cactus. It's fucking cactus. The project cactus. Marble bar. Good. Okay, that cactus worked. Let's get ourselves our mail truck. And we can't afford it. It's okay. Pockets are deep. When you come speak with... What's going on here? 119 tons of fruit? Well, we're going to have to get onto that one, aren't we? Okay, Marby. Look at that. You wanted mail? Mate, it wasn't enough just to have a mail name. Now you've got a mail service, Tom. Chuck one of those down there. Um, we go to Tom Price. We go to his road depot. We go to Marby. Don't know why I've got two road depots, didn't really... Don't know. Anyway, we've got them now. Okay, Tom who is carrying no bags. So all we need to do is get a good haul for Marble Bar. We know it costs you about 150 bucks each way. 22 bags of mail if you can pick up. Let's see. Let's see. Here we are, Marble Bar. About to collect for our subsidy. And we have collected all the mail. No mail. A grand total of no mail. <sighs> And we're going to take that to Tom Price. We got a watering tower. So these are water supplies. I don't know why they look so abstract and incredible. But these are water supplies. We're going to need to move that water to these striving young towns in an attempt to get them to grow. But that's a future problem for a future Tom Price. Now it's not the Tom or the Price to be dealing with that. We've got more pressing issues like 138 tons of fruit and what to do with it. New bus. Capacity 35 passengers. Oh yes please. Marble bar, what are you doing mate? Your population's going down. Seven bags of mail. Huge fucking huge payday. 